Oh, that's probably on me and myself. Let's see. my game, but I never really started the game last time, so I just, like, I know I drive in the beginning, but that's all I saw, and I quit it, because I want to do it all in one stream, so now is the time, just waiting for someone to get in here for a minute, it's starting to start real slow, I need to turn my heater down a little bit, because this game is supposed to be scary, I might start sweating from that. So let's see. Intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. That, that sounds like my type of show. Uh, it has a comedy. Be good too, because I like comedy. And I am Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn me uh, an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. I will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. What a name. <laughs> uh, stay alive as long as I can, record everything, I'm not a fighter, to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. I mean, my only choices are to run, hide, or die. So let's see how I do. Hope it's not too loud. It seems kind of loud. Uh, I don't know. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software con consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. Hey, thanks for the follow, someone whose name I can't see, but there's a monkey for you. I don't know who that is, but I very much appreciate it. That's a quick follow, but I heard a coin. And I, I don't know, that I don't think this game has Mario coins in it, so it probably wasn't that. Okay, um, so all sorts of NDAs. Um, non-disclosure agreements. I'm very much breaking right right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible thing. Uh, warning. Graphic language. Okay. Uh, terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that has been waiting for them in the mountain. Uh, people are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. No, it's fine if it was you. You, you earned a sock monkey. But, uh, yeah, you should have followed me, like, forever ago. Uh, I don't know. There's my press pass. Good no, I'm not controlling any of this. This is all just video, so, you know, I'm not doing anything. So far, I've clicked new game, and I've clicked close that last menu. The rest is just, I'm watching it. My batteries are in there. I saw them glowing on the seat. I didn't pick them up. 
Um, objections updated. My reporter's notebook containing my notes and pickup documents. I didn't even get to read the yellow text. I don't know what that was. Oh. So, okay, so I can switch between controller and keyboard and mouse, but right now I'm doing keyboard and mouse because it's supposed to be better. I don't know. Come on, I want... Oh, I can... Like dance. Oh, one sec. I gotta... Uh... Oh, well, I take away your sock monkey. But no, I had to shrink my uh, thing. There we go. Because I had it like, I usually preview my stream on this window, but then I always see motion out of the corner of my eye and it messes me up, so. Oh, there's me. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to open the door, though. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Oh, right click is the camera. Okay. Hey, let me in the. Really? I can't walk through an open door. Alright then. That was weird. Notes. Nothing. See, I don't know if this would really be how it happens. Like, shouldn't the reporter, like, call the facility, set up an appointment with the director? And do that sort of stuff, not drive up in the middle of the night. Hey, I tried opening my door, it wouldn't let me. Okay. I want to open that door, though. I would just bring it. Whatever. It's probably I'm not a reporter, because I'd break it. Why is it telling me how to run? I already knew how to run, but if it's telling me how to run, I need to run soon. Come on, I wanted these things. These are like... Mercs, okay. So they're like private security, they're not military, but they're like, they're military grade, it looks like. Oh wait, what am I doing? It'd be funny if he actually had to like, if it recorded your voice, so it's like, here I am at the opening of the asylum, where they have these uh, military-style vehicles. So like, oh, look, it even it did the note for me. But that's what I was doing. But uh, like making my own notes of like what the fuck are these here for? And they're making the weird noises. I don't know if there's like spotlights or I mean, they could be LEDs. They're pretty thin, but or they could be sending out radio waves, microwaves. I mean. I've seen microwave trucks like that before, and they can, like, cook your insides. It's pretty neat. Okay. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government and secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychi Psychiatric Systems in 2009. Okay, so Murkoff, I think, was on the back of the trucks. Um, under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. Okay, so those are probably jammers. Uh, the Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Oh, I saw something move. Oh, is it? I guess it was a bug in front of my, my face. I'm gonna double check. That was... Mercs. Not Murkoff, so... A little different, but I'm, I mean, related, I'm sure. Can't see in the window at all. Well, that's kind of neat, though. You can see that light, I think. No, I missed that light. No. But you can see the reflection in there, so that's pretty good graphics there. Don't spoil stuff. But I, I had to record the video, though, because that's how I got a note. Like, I'm reporting, so... I had a report on the trucks, it's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, I 
guess we're around the edge. And then, I know there were batteries in my car, but it wouldn't let me open the door. I kept clicking on the door. In the truck. He doesn't even try to see the slot. That's not good. But I think I know I need batteries for my camcorder so I get night vision so I can see. Which is going to be a real challenge for me because I have the light on so like I show up better on camera, otherwise it's way too dark. It's locked. That's not good. Um, but that makes my screen seem darker to me. So, I've played... I don't know what, I played something else that was dark and I remember like having trouble trying to like sit up like this so I could see on the screen better because of that light up there. Okay, I can't get in either side. It's not very good at letting me know like when I can actually try the door, because I had to click three or four times for that to try. And then, you hold down the button to open slowly, so... Oh, well I might as well zoom in I guess, huh? Hit F for flashlight. Oh, well, see, only, it said only night vision uses battery, so doing this might not even be using the battery that, that well. So I might be okay with just uh, bringing it up. We'll find out later, though. every time he leans over. <sighs> oh my god, it's so hard! Ugh. He must have a bad back like me. Because I make that noise when I lean over sometimes. Okay, most of the time. But still. I think it's just fun to lean around corners. Okay. It's a pretty good sign this place is evil. Look at that guy's face. And like, that's like levitating. Because it's not taut on his neck. <laughs> I heard a door. I'm gonna turn it off. This guy is a horrible investigator. 
there. It looks like a journal. Just totally thumb through it. Okay. But no. Ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know. I like the the controls and amnesia that I was telling you about. I think you'd like. Um, it's kind of it's a lot like this so far, like gameplay wise. The story is different. But uh, in that one, when you hold the mouse button down, you just kind of like slowly move the mouse left or right to decide how the door is moving. So I'm trying to do this, like it's slowly open. And this one, I have to actually hold it and then like walk backwards. I find that not as good. Why do I want to close it for? <laughs> it's funny how he just like dives in there. I'm not even touching. I'm not looking at the door. Why does it want to open it? Whatever. Oh, but the cursor changes. Okay, okay. I remember, I'm still learning the game. This is further than I've ever been before. Look at those old man hands. Uh oh. Uh. Maybe I should move towards the blood. It makes me want to watch Ghost Adventures. They're, they've had a lot of good episodes where they're uh, in asylums. So I'm gonna just leave this open for a while. Uh, I'm gonna see if the battery life drains. For the infrared light of your camera. Okay, well that solves that. I was gonna say, I'm gonna just leave it open and see if the battery drains at all when I'm not doing any night vision mode. Just regular mode. So. Yeah, someone got shot there. It looks like, because obviously there's a bolt hole, but the, the splatter, that's not a knife, that's, uh, that's a good thing. I wonder how much the... 28? 20, okay. That's fun. All the scary stuff is happening, and I'm like, oh, look at the timer on the camcorder. That's interesting. I was just seeing if it, if it uh... Was... If it was cumulative, or it reset the time every time, but apparently it adds up. Um, hey, what is that? That looks like a bloody stool. And it's something else, like blood and mucus. Maybe it's an intestine, I don't know, but... you Microwaves. Cola, drink it. Dollar seventy five for a can? Fuck you. That is not worth it. Hmm. I mean, if it's that wet, you'd think it's soaking through the floor, right? Someone didn't die in that and have a splatter. That's what I'm going with. So actually oh, never mind. I can get back down. Well that way it's light, this way is dark. Let's go this way. Well, I guess it's good news there's someone else here, I'm not alone. Is that good? This guy's already terrified. <laughs> he can hear him. <gasps> Lights off. Like if I was playing this alone, I'd be playing in a dark room. <laughs> I was looking at that. Not uh Um, it's gone. <laughs> that was like hanging from the ceiling, wasn't it? Because it ain't now. Like that one, it was Okay, well now I'm not gonna laugh at this guy for being scared. Because <laughs> now it's a bit scary. Oh, that's awesome. <coughs> they killed us! They got out! The variants! The variants. You can't fight them! You have to hide! You can unlock the main doors! Go to security and control! <laughs> You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. I wonder 
how long he's been there, like, just waiting for that one moment. Either that, like, because I was thinking, uh, he might have, like, just had that happen to him, so maybe I shouldn't be here. Yeah, it scared me too. <laughs> I jumped a little bit. And I don't usually get scared too easily. Games that do a little better job than movies. Movies, usually, I find too predictable. Um... Oh good, I'm still recording. It's over here, nothing, nothing. Oop, too much, too much. But yeah, that was good, because like I saw like the body on the ground, I thought, and I was like, is that a body down there? And then so I just totally focused on that and not like the rest of the room at all. And then, Little yeah. Fake. Jesus! <laughs> well, that wasn't fair. Maybe it was supposed to happen, though. And who are you, then? Uh, Miles, I think, is my name. I don't know. I... I see... Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I think that was supposed to happen then. Because like, I didn't hear anything to have him sneak up on me. And then, yeah, let me know if the camera is in a bad spot. Escape the asylum. Really? I can't, like, go back the way I came. To figure out how to get up there again. What's that? Oh, okay. It was all shiny. I thought it was, like, white. I thought it was a business card. Which could be useful. <clears throat> little Pig. He called me Little Pig. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, this game is a little bit more offensive than I anticipated. Oh, that one's locked, right? Okay. I just want to keep this camera up. I think the whole time. Come on. There we go. Got me a battery. What was it doing on that guy's corpse? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's not a very efficient boarding, because like, in real life, I would just open the door and then do this. And I'd get right past this door. That would, those boards wouldn't stop me at all. And like, it even opens the other way, it looks like. Like, look at the, look at the frame. It totally opens in, so the boards are on the wrong side. That one too, way too high. Oh, okay. I thought his head was cut off, like, partially cut off, like, through his middle of his head. Does he not have a gun? Oh. Document. The Murkoff Corp, United States Office. Warrant for seizure, case number, some numbers. In the matter of seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, blah, 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 this address, uh, affidavits have been made before the Board of Directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. That's... Hello, laughs. How is it going? You missed me. You got scared earlier. It's pretty good. Um, okay, so that's pretty bad for a psychiatric place to have environment contamination. Um, we are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender com complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives, that's weird, surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions regardless of responsibility. Interesting. Oh, I used to have a phone like that. Like a calendar calculator up there on the screen. That's kind of cool. Hey, 
buddy. You're, you're gonna die soon, I think. Sucks to be him. Well, it sucks to be me too, I guess. Because I'm locked in here. down. <laughs> uh, oh, I should, it'd be funny if I could hit up and then uh, back goes up. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go downstairs yet, I don't think. Security room, electric room. So I'm going to go to the security room and the power's going to be out and then I'm going to have to go down the electrical room, I bet. Because one, I have access to it, and two, there's blood leading there. That is a good sign. I need to go there later. That's just my... Do you get in? Oh, I like how it has the line up top. Like right now, this is digital zoom. This is optical zoom. So the line means up there. A little nerd info for you. Jermaine Delaire. Look at his eyes. They're like. Even. So he must have done something like really bad. Human resources. Huh. All of their eyes are uneven. Look at that. Like, it's his right eye, but like, the one over there on our right is like slanted down and is lower than that one. That one, the one on the right, is also lower, although he's at an angle. Him is him. The other one's down lower. Like all their eyes are like wonky. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Oh, like I was his hand around the corner. Okay. I want to just jump on there and look over the top before I open it, because something's going to happen. Well, maybe not. It's expected to have something happen. Witness. Huh. That's not a good sign for the guy who's holding the camera. That's also a witness. Oh, yep, it's a head. Okay. Yeah, that's like the ultimate swirly right there. Wait, was he breaking into that door? Come on, do it. Is there stamina? Oh, I was just looking too far left, okay. But, uh, yeah, the guy was breaking into that door. I thought maybe it was that one over there. More... Intestines, I guess. Gross. Yep, that's the way you do it. In this situation, see, it'd be nice if, like, he had a gun next to him. Because, oh, is it my footprints? Neat. Anyway, um, yeah, what am I hitting in anyway? light? Good. It's like, did I just walk through a body? Did I hit any buttons? Okay. Is there nothing in this room to get? Like, really? Close the door. Behind the door? Oh, what? Hmm. Odd. I can't look up all the way. This is another thing. But look, that fan has no shadow. They put in the detail of footprints when you walk through blood. Walk through blood. But the fan doesn't get a shadow. Those are the things that I notice when I play games. He's a key card. Aww. 
That was unexpected. I should have got it off that dead guy. From Helen Granat to the Murkoff Group. Subject, Project Wall Rider, on-site inspection. Dear Sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fat fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make, it, make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be almost certainly, er, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. The violence among um, patients is increasing as the uh, morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectively, Helen Granat, Murkoff Legal Legal Mitigation Department. That'd be funny if it actually checked like your uh, computer clock and like gave it the right time. But as it is, that's like ten minutes fast. Okay. Uh, let's try this door. Nope. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're still people. We didn't choose this. Yep, yep, that's a logical argument there. <sighs> Nothing back there, though, huh? Nothing over here, no more doors? No. That's the hiding spot right there. Just climb right up there. Shoot my my way up. Hmm. Key card for that. I guess I'm going straight downstairs, okay. So my assumption earlier was a little bit off. Oh yeah, I got down the chair. 
still hanging out. have a security key. They make my life a hell of a lot easier right now. That's where I came from. Was oh, this an open? Hey, look at that. He's breathing. If you look right below his head, you can see his chest movement, I think. Maybe it's just lines being produced on my screen from me moving, but it looks like he's breathing. Okay, not now. It's just movement from me. Made weird render lines on his shirt. But that's kind of scary, though. Mm. Yeah, anybody does have a security key. Make it easy. Lots of dead people. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind the bar, dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say, Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO uh, has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity, fuck the third world, and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off, off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a, on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out, then dies. Would have been a good time, good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. I agree, I agree. The witness. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start with his head with a... Oh, tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up, and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. An alcoholic kitty fiddler. I like that. I might sneeze. I did. I did sneeze. It was amazing. Um, okay. Homemade, er, alcoholic kitty fiddler. That's funny. Uh, not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Huh. Um, let's check the journal too. Yeah. Um, so there's a patient, 32, he's a guy, his initials are CLW. Walker, it says. Uh, therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 parts per million. Unsafe to pr progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Uh, sp spiometry? No, spirometry. I don't know. Spirometry. Uh, revealed light to medium bronch bronchial acclimation. MRI scans consistent with patient's reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. So maybe CLW was that guy that I saw. Um, extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engines or morphogenic engine cellular activity he claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing seems to have some boyhood experience with uh twitera lizards and their 
parietal eyes. Um, he has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas has he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be re retarding progression of the ME process. Uh, his predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Okay. So, I think that was the, uh, cheese grater head. Because why else would I find the file right after I made a note about him? Uh-oh. Oh, it's a wheelchair guy. Something's gonna happen. Morin. Morin. They, uh... That was the same brand that made the TV. That's where I saw that name before. So they made TV and furnaces. Hey, buddy. How, how's your day going? You having a good day? You want to not attack me? Want to play bait? I could use some bait. Do you not have eyes? You don't have eyes. Well, all right then. Nice pants. Comfy. I know what's more important to watch. Uh oh. Well, they seem sane enough. They're watching TV. I don't know what they're watching. Oh. Well, that's not normal to watch. Broken men and dead television. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. So does that mean I can walk up to them and they won't kill me? That guy looks a little iffy. Well, I feel racist because he also looks like he's black. Are you guys not going to do anything? Oh, there's another guy. Now that guy looks sane. Curl up in a ball crying. Hi. How are you? Right through me. Man, his skin's like all stitched together. Like, I expected something to happen with at least one of those guys, and nothing happened, and then something's gonna happen when I'm all alone, and nothing's near me. up there waiting to fall on me. Right, was that the camera maybe? Hmm. Hey! Got one! Woohoo. Now. their kidney. Keep watching this intense action that's over there. I don't know, everything sucks. It's like, hey, see that light you can already see? We'll make it a little bit brighter and green. 
So I'm gonna go. You guys enjoy your show. Don't mind me at all. God damn. I'm moving it. I'm moving it. Uh, you attacked me. I didn't do that. I tried to run past him. Now I wonder, like, I decided to sprint right there. I hit shift and I ran past him. Did he attack me because I was leaving? Or because I actually ran past him? I don't know, but I got a little scared. That's neat. That should be a screensaver. That is a neat screensaver. Okay. So that is where I go. Oh. Proclaim the gospel. Hallelujah. Oh, well, look at that. I run into walls when I do it, but it works. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. Man. They lie. Well, of course they lie. That's a given. I don't see any openings in that for anything to fall on me. Oh, I just I just go right in. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to look in there like for a dead body. Hey, Ron and Andre, how you guys doing? Whoosh. Good to know, I guess. Those make me want to play Minecraft. It's all pixelated and purple. Um, love me, please. That's kind of weird. I don't know if the delay was important or not. It was over here. Oh, I can get on the keyboard. Okay. I'm a journalist, so I, I know how to use the screen system, I'm sure. Security. Right, I'm sure that's how it works. Oh look, cameras. Oh, it's a free sky. What a dick. Oh! Ah, I was kinda right. I... Yeah. Um, but that's what I said was gonna happen earlier. Yeah, but let's record this. Oh, he smells me. real quick. <laughs> big fucking guy. <laughs> the big fucker is stalking me. Found a, pa a patient file for Chris Walker, ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Dun dun dun. What else is there? Documents? Okay. I don't want to hear him when I leave. Security guard is making noise. No, he couldn't have. Oh man. I thought I opened it. I didn't know it just fucking knocked it off the hinges. Those aren't even hinges. Those are just 
big ass locks. Ultra program, CIA document something, part one excerpt to file. Um, subject, hypnotic experimentation and research, February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, 10th of February, 1954, hypnotic experimentation, so probably LSD, um, and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following, following subjects, materially abridged. Um, a post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Hmm. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she, sh that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she should pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to waken. Miss Pierce carried out the suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun uh, at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Uh, okay. the main breaker to restart the generator. Just, I don't want to do all that. I just want it to work. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Hey, buddy. I hope my day goes better than yours. It's all right. Not bad. Morin again. They make everything. Oh God. Battery. I heard the big footsteps. I got scared. Oh God. 
Ah! Ah! God, where I go? I don't know where to go. Ah! Stop turning off the stuff. I think it's a pretty good game, why not? A little bit scary. Uh, like I said, it'd be kind of nice if I wasn't streaming it, so I could have all the lights off. I'd be able to see the screen better, and, you know, it'd be darker, so I'd make it scarier. I'd really get in the moment. Uh, and, okay, good. <sighs> okay. I'm actually all tabbed right now. I'm gonna take a little breather. What do you think of the game so far? Do you like it? Is it scary? Is it like watching a very slow, scary movie. Whew, okay. Where does it go? Okay. Is it working okay? Yeah, it's working okay. Let me go back and shrink my broadcasting software again. Ugh, okay. Is that guy following me still? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I lost it or not. I also don't know, like, I, I got hit a couple times. Where's my health? Do I need to eat, like, an apple now? Or something? Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Um. Okay, well I switched to breaker. But I still need to go do all the other stuff. So I jumped over a different table this time, apparently. Put the camera down for now. Oh, ah! <laughs> Can I even hide in here now? Oh god, where's the thing? Where's the thing? <laughs> I 
I don't know if this is even gonna work. There he is. I saw him walk past. I'm, I'm ready to run. I'm done with this room, so. Oh, he walked away. Okay. I have no fucking clue where to go right now. Like, I know what you gotta get in that one room with the generators and the gas pumps, I guess, but. I don't know where those are compared to me right now. I thought that's where I was going when I jumped over that, that thing. If I see him again, I'm just gonna run for it. Cause I gotta get past him. Battery. Good timing, good timing, like that. Let's go over here, take a left. Oh, it's gonna die soon. Dark as hell. <laughs> yeah, I have six batteries left. Not including the one I just put in. So, I'm doing okay on batteries because I was being pretty conservative earlier. Yeah, that's where I need to be. No! Oh, God damn it. Okay. There he is. I see him. Here he comes. There he is. What's he doing? Did he trip? <laughs> Away somewhere, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, this is just fucking. Excuse me, pitch freaking black. <laughs> See how. So the logo on the left is dark, and the character on the right is barely visible. See, now I can barely see the one on the left, but I can see the character on the right. Barely visible there. Nope. Barely visible. And I'd pass right over that. I'm gonna try it this way anyway, though. Apply. I still can't see shit. There's something over there. Oh, those things. Barely see those things, so am I going this way? I can hear footsteps in the water. I don't like that. Uh, what do you mean? How many does it take? It takes one battery at a time, and then the battery will drain out, and then it takes another battery. Oh shit, there he is. I just saw him. He's just walking around. Down there, oh my god. I don't want to do this and deal with these guys and solve puzzles. Oh god. Oh my god, I hear something. I 
heard him walking in the water, I thought. Oh shit, there he is! Some. He was just right there. What in the hell? He's a magician. Cause he- I just fucking saw him. He went out of that room, so we need to go into that room. Oh god! He's chasing me? <laughs> it is pretty scary. I couldn't see- I couldn't figure out how to get up- Oh god, shit! Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me! Oh god! Did you see me? No, it doesn't- Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's gone again. I'm gonna just waste all my batteries in this one fucking part. Oh, there he is. See? There he is. He's doing something to the generator. Maybe he wants it on too. Maybe we're on like the same side. Oh god! That's totally on the same same side sound right there. Uh. See, I can see not fighting the big guy, but this guy, he's a normal sized guy. Why wouldn't I wait around the corner with like a pipe? There's plenty of pipes and shit on the ground I could use. Just go for it. Oh, I guess reporters aren't supposed to get in involved, or I mean journalists. They're supposed to just watch the story, not be the story. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over this way then. Jump! Been here. Yeah, this is all like the same shit. I don't know where I'm going. What oh, battery? Goodness. There. I like this though. I turn out turn something on. I don't know what happens if you run out of batteries, like it's just like, oh you're fucked. Nothing you can do now. So I'm used to games where, like, even if it's dark, you can kind of, like, squint your way through and find your way, but not this game. This game is just black. I guess you do this, kind of find your way along the wall. Makes sense. So you do if it was too dark. Wait, am I? I'm up on the pipes. Huh. I mean, like, up on the boards, but by the pipes. Hello, Wolf Quest, how are you doing? Maybe he's still sitting there. Damn it. I don't know where to go, but I'm trying to go to that room to the left, if I can make it. He's just gonna attack me again. Bad 
great. Oh god. Get up there. The locker. I made it. Is you gonna see me? I don't know. So it looks like the screen got a little blurry and like uh, fish eyed, like a fish eye lens on the camera. It made it look all weird. But that was my plan. I think it worked. Oh yeah, what's going on with your YouTube? Have you ever shown me your YouTube? I don't think I've seen it. But I will check it out if you link it. I was thinking about my YouTube, my YouTube today. I need to do more to it, but like, uh, I'm too lazy. I don't know what, what to do on it. I don't really like invent on Minecraft. And that's the only thing I really want to make videos of. Okay, that's if I don't die. So I'm curious about the company Morin. Like, if is it just like their generic? We made a company that makes stuff, so we don't have to like get sued. Oh god! 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 <laughs> he came in the room. I don't, there, that's impossible for him, for him not to see me. <laughs> Welcome back, Wolf. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Is it like? Is that company just their the game's generic company, so they don't get sued thing? Or does it mean something that the company is actually making so much for this psychiatric place? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna make sure my soda's gone. Switch over to water. Okay, I think I gave him the time to go away. Fucking hope. That? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Outlast Outlast is twenty dollars. And it is on Steam. Really? Is that going to let me do it? <sighs> um, it's not too bad. It depends on how long the game is. I think that's to the game. I don't know. It might be. Whoops, wrong button. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I just got a bunch of new games on Steam. One of them is, it's like, it's a 10 in 1 Sega Genesis console. It's pretty awesome, because it's like a bunch of old school Sega Genesis games, like Vector Man, it's got Golden Axe 1 through 3, um, Altered Beast, some other games. It's pretty neat. I'm happy with it. And it works with my controller. As does this game, but I chose not to do controller. Okay, what else do I have to do here? Oh, main breaker. So, kidney, that's what you're talking about. I didn't need to get that. I was like, I don't need that yet. Whatever. Yay. Now I can see when things come to kill me. That's so much better. Yeah, and then, uh... I'm just kind of keeping my camera up the whole time. You don't need to do that. But I'm a journalist, so I'm trying to journal it. What is this? That's like a weird dead end. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, right, right. I can do that. Didn't I?
wasn't that door like knocked off the hinges earlier? Maybe not, maybe it was just open. But I know it was locked when I came down here. I came down next time and I didn't see it. I thought I got knocked on the floor. I had to see it was like, is that grunting me? Maybe I'm like actually injured. That'd be funny. Oh, what happened? I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Why not talk to me? And we'll be like, hey, it. dude. I got a great Tell story you. for you. Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. God, the, guy I'm playing. the only way out of this place what is the, the hell? truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. I am back upstairs. Okay. So yeah, um, he is a pretty ugly guy. Yeah. He's like all messed up. But I'm a journalist. I want the story. So walk up to me and be like, I have a good story for you. Let me show you. And I'd be like, cool. I'll come with you. But no, you gotta like hijack me and stab me in the heart with the fucking needle. Do this whole runaround. Doesn't make any sense. It could be a lot easier for both of us. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to read real quick. I like how I've had the camera up pretty much the entire time. The second I don't have it up. Remember to have your camera up to get notes. He did not kill his enemies. Benny, here, follow... This. Something. priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Um, I don't know. I could, maybe. That depends how long it is. Depends how long I'm interested in it. And, uh, how long he playing. I do have about half a case of Mountain Dew behind me on the floor, so... No, oh, Jesus. It is possible. Hey, they we were watching TV earlier. It's on the wall, that's what I thought. Although I thought, I thought it was that guy. Space alone. Leave me alone. Maybe he wasn't the guy watching TV earlier. Similar uh, thing around his neck, though. I thought it looked like an Egyptian thing. Oh, look. <laughs> when he hits his head on the wall, the blood graphic from the wall appears behind his head. Let's see if he'll do it again. If it does it. And that was not doing it as much, but kinda. I do have Skype, yes. Or you mean Skynet? My blood if they want to get out. Now that Microsoft bought him out. What was that? Oh, hi. Hey, crazy person. You so crazy. It's happy, though. That's probably best. Can you hit me? Can you? I'm 
something right here. Need no more space. That's, uh, It seems like he'd be right here. He'd be he'd be hitting you. Hey, buddy, let's talk to you. Little interview. Maybe eating that. No, okay. <laughs> He's touching himself. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Um, you can look me up on there. I'm I'm the Chimo. Who's this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. Are you guys he sane? Nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. I want his tongue. And liver. They are and onions. You guys are assholes. What's that? God always provides a way. Follow the blood. Alright. There is my blood if they want to get out. You. Oh, his ankle's broken. Oh, what are you doing? That may have been a crazy speaker we just saw. You look like you've seen a ghost. I think I've seen a couple now, yeah. Space alone. But like, he hopped out, he hopped back in. Was he in that door? Was he in they were waiting for us. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Uh, I guess it wasn't a streaker. Plenty crazy though. Sleep no more. Space alone. Leave me alone. All right. Where are you going? I'll see him bash his head against the wall again. Is gonna do it? No. This one was up there. The graphic one behind his head, but I don't know. Oh, there's a hole. Let's go back to that one. Oh, crazy person. I can hide under his bed. That's good to know. No. no I'm not Fernandez. It's Chimo Jenkins, so it should be the Chimo. How do I get out now? Sprawl? Okay. And then it'll look like, um. Yeah, one second here. I'll look like this. My 3D gaming setup. Same hat and everything. Oh, there's that crazy guy over there. He was. Yeah. Alright, uh, um, did I check them all? Let's go over here a little bit. Is that his skin? Or is that actually his suit? I think it's his... It's a suit There's skin. Skin suit. Gross. Yeah, look at that. It's like, different colors, but then... Nice one. No writing on the wall or blood or anything. One here, crazy person. Okay. Let's go. Was it uh, that sound? Awful.
You know, I was watching a uh, walk-up the other day, the week now, and they actually have walk-in areas behind the cells like that where they can see behind them. Glasses and everything for you. Chimo Jenkins, the Chimo, Chimo J. Damn it! Looks like what me. What the fuck is the matter with you? You weren't invited to this, you goddamn sicko! You like to watch? It's sick. You're sick! Huh. I just realized he's calling someone here sick. Like, duh. That's an obvious. Yeah. That's why That's why he's here in the first place. He's sick. Oh, jeez, you're like right in front of me. I was, I was looking for that guy in the distance there, and then that guy's right in front of me, and I did not expect that. Let's close this real quick. Let's not get someone coming up behind me while I'm looking into this. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey. I can't. Come on. It's a mattress and old people walkers. That is retarded. Old people push that thing around and I can't do it? Yep, there's some problems with this game. The mattress, sure, that's a little bit heavy. But, old people hey. walkers? Oh. Hey, you. Oh, I. Uh. Well, who do you think I was? Oh, I think I just got an invite. Because it sounded like Skype farted or something. Oh, keep it in there. But yeah, like, old people walkers, really? That's going to bug me for a while, I think. <laughs> Especially in this situation, I would have so much fucking adrenaline going through my body. I'd be like that, that guy who called me a pig. I'd just be like, knocking doors down and shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. The ledge. I don't want to go back. No more sleep. All right, to the ledge I go. Old people walkers. That's uh. So, if this thing doesn't shut down for a while, and this shit's going on. How long has it been going on? How long have these people been walking around without food? Shouldn't they be starving? And also possibly pooping everywhere? Like, I don't know. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't wait until I finished. But I saved some for you. Where'd he go? He seemed like a character. Someone that you want to get to know and get on your side. You don't want them not on your side. Cause they're crazy. Oh, what's that? I guess that's a blue label, cause like otherwise that is a reason for water to stay that way. Oh. If I could, to the exit. That seems sounds a bit optimistic to me. Um, sweet. Is that something for? Okay, back up to seven batteries. Excuse me. Didn't work on me. I don't. I don't use that word. But how's it going, small? Down the drain, huh? Flushing evidence. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Fuck, see the blood behind his head? Okay, watch right there. The the D, I guess. Well, come out the back of his head. There, see? Yeah, like he like they made the blood floating on top of the wall. Why don't you go down the drain then? What you got here? Fuck this place. Seriously, just fuck this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here. That's true. Oh, Father Martin Finger Painter. Um, this is Patient Father Martin Arkhambod. Arkhambod? I don't know. Um, he was pacing it? I don't know. I am good at finding batteries, thank you. I like batteries. You know me in electronics. I really, I have like a, a sense. I can tell where they are. Okay, so, Helen, Dr. Zeichner, sounds German, gave me your info to contact regarding your cancellation of the arts program. My patient, Martin Arkhambod, Arkhambod has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Just in the week since canceling the arts program, his schi schizoaffective assertions of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please, just let the man finger paint. A few dollars you're saving on, on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. Clozapine? Clozapine. Yeah, fine. I don't know why I'm seeing it weird. Um, I can't imagine the logic at play here, unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. There is um, a decent chance of that, yeah. Okay, that door's closed. There I go. Nothing seems safer than a one-way path. Oh, yep, I tried closing them earlier. Didn't seem to help me a whole lot. <laughs> Just a little bit. Shut up! Let me think for a minute! Quiet! Uh, uh, quiet! Uh, uh. Oh, I saw a shadow. Hey, buddy. You calm down yet? violent, because, like, I made it pretty obvious I was there. He's gonna attack me. Um, I can hide in that thing. I don't see any more batteries over here. Mm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here and see if he attacks me. Are you going to? Maybe he's not gonna attack me. He has a stick in his hand, though. Trust him. I I like you to stay quiet. Okay. No problem. Ah, uh, nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! I was quiet. I like you to stay quiet. Is there anything on the desktop I need? No. You're a liar. No issues with the sound, it was all his personal there's a battery. I saw a battery over here. Maybe two batteries maybe. Let's see, let's just get her down there. Oh. 
But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, that guy's a liar. Uh, he didn't care at all about being quiet. He just has personal space issues. Uh, yeah, hit that light down there. Why is it telling me to wash my hands right here? Kinda sounds like Batman a little bit. His voice. The Christian Bale Batman. Oh, I should've been quiet. Bye. Protect me. Oh, I saw him. Where'd they go? Did I see some in here? No. Not worth it. I think I lost him. Quiet, quiet. It's the other guy making noise. <laughs> oh shit. Run. Okay, so I think I'm in the zone enough that I shouldn't be scared as easily as that first time. I'm saying that with the caution of I may get scared again. I don't want to be like, I'm good now. So that first time scared me the most. Um, I'm supposed to be following the blood to the exit. But I'm just, I'm just going to keep exploring on my way about eventually. Because I want to find a little... Wait, this so isn't open? Oh no, there's a wall between us. Okay. I could have hit under the bed too. You got anything good for me? No, nothing. I tried, man. I tried. Alright, um. I don't think I'm gonna get attacked anymore. So somehow I gotta activate that, I think. I like, I like the detail in the blood that like, you can tell the difference between the smear and the pool. And the pool looks pretty good. Anyway. Let's see here. All the blood trails to the exit, yeah. Okay. Was there any more blood smears in here? I don't know. Good. But where was that crazy guy that chased me down? He was in this one, wasn't he? There's a battery in the corner. Huh? Alright. Alright? No, it's a fucking light again. Goddamn computers. Uh, here we go. Followed the blood. Um, what's on the wall? Classified. Why would you pin classified stuff on a cork board? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's classified. Better post it up here for everybody to see it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hi. Oh, what are you doing? No. Oh, I can move. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like one of those cutscenes where just like you're fucked. This is gonna happen to you now. Is it the same guy? Oh wait, maybe now he's gone. Hi. What's up here? Anything? Anything? Please be something. Nothing. Oh god. <laughs> oh, he tried to get me. He tried to hit me. I heard that swing. Go, 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 go. 
Uh, I'm a whore for playing for an hour. Crazy guys. Oh, is that a like in the suppression of our desire? Hi. Are you just standing there naked? Yes. No. I guess that's not yours. Whoa. I'd be angry too if they did that to my stuff. And you're hitting the machetes on your hands. Supposed to do that with blunt objects, not sharp objects. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. Not a lot of blood. But yeah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> yes. It's. I mean, like, it. It is and it isn't. Cause I don't know. Let's let's take a closer look. You can kind of see, like, the general shape of what's supposed to be there. But it's more like it's thick. It's like an elephant man penis. Those are, those are girthy, is what I'll say. That just makes them all the more terrifying, because what do you think they're going to do to me when they find me? <laughs> it's just like, bam, in your face. Uh, I don't like this. I'm pretty agile for, for a journalist. It's like, jump out and like, watch. I, I jump and spin as I go out and catch myself while putting away my camera. That's pretty impressive. Whoa. See? How do I get down? Oh, I can shimmy. Oh, I see. And then shimmy toward. Nah, I'm over there. Why would I shimmy towards the naked guys with machetes? That does not seem like an intelligent move. See, now they're gone. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't shimmy towards that at all. Oh, bad idea. See, like Like yeah, luckily they left. But I just intentionally came towards two giant naked hicks. I don't know. To me that that's a red flag. That is something you don't do. And that was what I had to do in this game. That is messed up on so many levels right now. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Other than girthy. That's, that's what I have to say about that, girthy. I don't know what was in that box that was so important. Oh, I said an H. Murkoff Corp PG maintenance memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wallrider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corp maintenance manual MMPS MM180286 or seek guidance from a supervisor with a proper security clearance. So they fucked up on this pretty much. Oh, look at all the cameras. I don't see anything too interesting. Good guy. Oh, it's a guy bashing his head. And I was like, oh god, there's a naked hick behind me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go this way. around the corner real quick, see what we got here. Dead guy. Okay. Well. No. No. I'm not going to the showers. There's naked hicks back here. No. It's a prison shower with naked hicks. Why was it... It's aiming towards that. I'm not trying to do it. Oh, yeah. 
I wish I would have zoomed in sooner. Access to shower. Oh, but they didn't even try yet. And of all things to key card, you need a shower to be key carded. Like, I don't know. Oh, what do you got? I'm free. So much space to run around in. Opposed to the cells, you know. Uh, let's go this way then. Oh. Won't even let me try to open it. stuck in a cell the whole time and you finally had like open air oh is that <gasps> that's outside this right there that's where I want to be right now oh it's so close yet so far away oh god I did hear someone oh god oh god it's a naked hick <laughs> I've been impaled. <laughs> I was surrounded, though. Okay, so. Let's close this behind me. Oh, and it filled up... Ooh, it filled up my battery all the way, but it didn't consume a battery. So all I have to do is, like, die when I get low on batteries and I get refilled. There's a radio. See, I don't see any full-size lockers to hide in. I was looking earlier. But I came this way, and the hick was down there. Then I got surrounded by a guy that's going that way, so what I can get past him. See, naked hick, you can see him. There he is. And then there's a guy here now, too. Oh, it's both of them. Oh. Ah. Goodbye. I just had to start asking. Huh. He thinks we're asking. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't want to be near any windows right now. I knew they wouldn't get me. I didn't think it'd be so soon. as I can go. So wait, that one was open. How far down is the, is the ground? Like, it's pretty bad here. Wouldn't it be worth it to fall and break your leg and then crawl through the mud to your truck and get the fuck out of here? Maybe there's only one open. I thought I passed one was open too. Oh yeah. So you're open and you're open. I'm gonna try on both. See if I die, I'm gonna go in. They're just gone. But yeah, like, it's not... It's not that far down. You, you can do it and break a leg, and then my truck's out there, and I would be the... I would just be gone. Like, they want to slice my belly open. Or I could break my leg. I think I'd break my leg. It's 
kind of sad though, because like now I've died, and that that kind of ruins it. Let's uh, close this real quick. Blood on the ground. Please find attached a copy of the death certificate for Mr. Rudolph G. Wernick, Murdoff Psychiatric Systems, subcontractor number 148616, no surviving family. State of Colorado, hold to light to view watermark. Um, Colorado, Mass Mount Massive Preserve, full name Rudolph Gust Gustav Wernick. Length of residence in city or town where death occurred, seven months in U.S. Um, for 55 years. Single, married, widowed, or divorced. He's single. Born October 20th, 1918. Died February 28th, 2009. Um, I hereby certify that I atten attended deceased from June 4th, 2003 to February 28th, 2009. That I saw him alive on February 27th, 2009. The death occurred on the date stated above at 4.11 a.m. The principal cause of death and related causes of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. This is to certify that this is a true and correct copy of the official record. Well, all right, copy. I can sure use a cup right about now. Um, eh. it's a toilet. <laughs> Gross. Walkie-talkie. Handcuffs. Still no gun. Channel 1. Wait, is that the same? Morin, yeah, same company again. That company makes everything here. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. How's that light even on right now? It's not plugged in. Nothing, no batteries, no files. More classified stuff posted on a public corkboard. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty nice chair, wasn't it? Save me! Is that broken? That's not broken. No, I didn't mean to click that. That was an accident. 
Oh, I turned to run again. I accidentally closed on the door though, so it made me stop and try to open it. Hmm. Wait, wait, I'm drinking my water. But yeah, if I can't get through where he comes in, I didn't see where to go. Turn it, turn it! <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Up, 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 up. Close that. Yeah, if I wouldn't have clicked on the door, I think it could have made it. Oh, yeah, well, I'm in the vent now. I saw some guy did. I think I did. Maybe. Oh, shit. Oh, don't close that idiot. Oh, my God. Stop. I go through to open the door and then he closes it. <laughs> uh, oh well, what do you do? Oh, okay, let's try this again. Because I guess he could like smell me through the wall or something. Maybe where I was. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, it didn't close. I tried to close it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, good, it was on purpose. Oh, uh, my clothes are going to be all nasty on the back. That's gross. Okay. I'm coming. You won't have to kill yourself. Oh, that guy. The vein stop. Are they coming after me? No, no, no. Get down there. Yeah, it's coming. I, okay, I can't look up. I'm not trying to look this crotch. So, you know. That's just how, how it happened. I can see him. Oh. Kind of sleepy somehow. I don't know why I'm sleepy. I slept in today. Is he gone? Is he safe? I don't know. It's safe to come out. I to find out though. Oh shit! Run, 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 run! Jesus Christ! I don't know where I'm going. 